yeah, I should, there you go, I should turn that light on, so that I have oppressive lights going everywhere if I spin the camera around. Hi everyone, this is becoming more of a regular thing now, I'm not stressed out, but I am making a video. Um, well I guess I'm a little bit stressed out, my, my, my buddy over here has this thing, and he's had this forever, but like, so I'm not worried that it exists, I'm just worried about like, it's consistency. Like, it, it's it's not that hard. Not hard, but, like, it's lumpy. I don't know what to make of that. Maybe he's just thirsty. I don't know. Because, I mean, we do have water. It's just, um, I haven't gotten, like, an actual, like, uh, nice, I'm not saying unclean water. I'm saying, like, he's been drinking, like, the tap water like everyone else, which is, uh, not great, I imagine. I don't know. I, uh. I mean, everyone else seems fine, which is why it, it doesn't worry me too much about what it is. Maybe he just got, like, stung by a bee, but I, I doubt it, because the rest of his face isn't swollen. It's just, it's just that bit. So I guess I am stressed, but regarding, like, just general day-to-day -day things, it's nice to get started back up again. Um, something I didn't notice is, um, I rag on school sometimes because, like, it's, it, it is a stressful time in your life. Um, and having to juggle school, work, and rehearsal schedule sucks, quite honestly. It, it's a lot to take in, because you don't really have a day off. Like, so say, um, I'm working, like, I think four or five days next week, because I don't have shows next week, but I'm working, like, four or five days, and on my day off, I have school, and... And days that I don't have either, I have rehearsals. Or sometimes when it, days that I do have school, actually, yeah, every every day this week is is rehearsal, and it, and it's like, uh, it's insane, you know. Like one part, one aspect is trying to give you these days off, but they don't really take into account that these other things are happening on the days that you have those days off. You know what I mean? So it's it's constantly having to get up and like go out and do something. But every once in a while, you get up and do something that's fun, and um. The show is is great. You know, I haven't done a show in a year, in, in more than a year, and and it's not that I it's not that I uh, it's it's foreign to me now. It's um, I've been keeping really active with it because all my other friends are heavily involved in all the theater productions. So what's going on with you, buddy? What is this? Um, yeah. Uh, so, I, I've gone and seen pretty much almost every show that's been going on at the college since, uh, I stopped, not stopped, but, like, since I took a break from the whole acting thing. And I'm, and I'm getting back into it with a Shakespeare play just because I've never done it before, and also it's with a director that, uh, I haven't worked with before. And, um, uh, honestly, I, I do miss the whole rehearsal thing because it's so fun. And I made this, I made this point the other day, the fact that, uh, the fact that you can attribute characters to people and they'll quip back to you with proper quotes and it feels so satisfying hearing, hearing them say their quotes. One of my new friends that I met uh, plays uh, Puck and we're doing Midsummer Night's Dream um, and, and she plays Puck for those that are aware of what that show is about but, but Puck is uh, one of the leads and she does such a great job and so uh, we, we give her lines regarding Puck and, and then she feeds back um, lines about Puck, you know, like, lines that she's supposed to say as Puck, and it's so, it's, it's so satisfying, and you don't get that with any other medium, you know what I mean? I mean, like, a, a musician can play a song for you, right? But it, I don't know, there's something about getting into the character and, and acting that way. It's, it's so cool. Um, but more often, but moreover, the people playing those roles are actually, like, cool people as well. Making some new friends here and there, um, we just spent... Um, we just spent some time exploring the set because the set got moved to the first uh, the first venue that it's supposed to be at. So that's that's pretty exciting, honestly. And um, we we got to check out what the we, just, we got to check out some of the other venues today too. We just took another look at them and um, see what it's gonna be like working in those environments. I think uh, I think it's gonna be fun. Honestly, it just, just this whole, just meeting new people, super fun, meeting some cool new people is really fun. Um, 
and just in just the, just walking around the city, I think something that's been taken for granted, something that we kind of found. Um, I mean, I'm not saying that people stop walking on the streets altogether, you know, but uh, back then it was okay for kids to walk around in the streets, you know, and then and then the whole stranger danger thing became a very real threat. And uh, so people stop going outside to play at night, you know. And I'm not saying like I'm a I'm like a kid kid anymore, but I'm saying that. Um, so so I, I guess I don't really fit myself into that demographic. But I will say that um, for a little while, I think we kind of rediscovered that whole thing when when Pokemon Go became real popular. For a little while, that first few months. Um, when Pokemon Go became really popular and everyone started going around and like hunting and I remember going out those first few weeks uh down at um down at the pier down by the docks by by the city that I live and it's um and it was hustle and bustle it was like it wasn't even like it wasn't even like daytime we were walking around like midnight like hanging out looking for Pokemon and it was like the most fun I think that people had in 2016 and it was and it was really amazing and and nowadays Pokemon Go isn't all that just because now that it's open worldwide, the servers are, are suckish and um, promises are like still haven't fixed. I, I thought about getting back into Pokemon Go when the new Pokemon came out, but then I realized uh, they never actually fixed the servers. It's just because of the way that the game is created. It I don't think it can ever get to a point where it's not going to be fixed. It's just going to be constantly patched and repaired. Um, they would have to make a whole other game to do that. So... I think I think that's something that would be better use of their um, resources, but I, I I understand that it's not like time, like it's not it's not um, optimal within their within their uh, within within their resources to just make up a whole new game. It would just be better to just keep patching it and patching it until something gets broken. Um, but yeah. And and so I haven't really had time to like walk around and do all that stuff because I'm not gonna do that by myself. I don't think anyone wanted to. I think that was part of the problem was that no one really wanted to go out and like walk around by themselves because honestly, stranger danger thing is still very much a real presence. But when Pokemon Go came out, um, not only did you know, not only were you gonna go out in a group, you knew that other people were going out in groups, so it felt pretty safe. You know, and then you get the assholes that, like, took advantage of that. Like, people putting up lures and, and then mugging them. And it was like, ugh, like, we can't ever just have nice things. Uh, but but we got to walk around downtown. And it, and it's a tourist town, so it's real pretty. So we walked around downtown a little bit. And it was, uh... It, it, quite honestly, it was, uh... It's a really nice experience. I love walking around downtown. I don't really get to do all that... I don't really get to do that all that often. It's probably, like, the second or third time that I've done it. So just just getting to, just getting to see what it's like is uh it's cool. There's also a really high uh a really high spot up in the mountains that we get to go up to. And I wish we had stayed there at the night actually, but um I'm glad we went back and uh walked around downtown a little bit. It was pretty great. But um I guess that's all that I want to say is uh it's fun being busy. I guess is the gist of it. It's it's fun meeting meeting new people that, you know, that uh, have some similar interests to you. I finally met someone else that that watches Westworld besides me, you know. Uh, we didn't really get to talk about it all that much, though, so, yeah. But uh, now we have a conversation, and it's and making friends is pretty hard, and just um, easing your way into that friendship is really, really cool. So, that's it. I'm going to go jump into Persona because <laughs> I don't have, I don't have, uh, I have work tomorrow, but I do have rehearsals. So, but that's at night, I, I assume. So, so awesome. I'm going to go. I hope everyone had a fantastic day and I'll see you guys next time.